For this tutorial, you will need your selected yarn. I'm using paint box yarns in Simply Chunky. I'm going to use a six millimeter crochet hook with this yarn, but check your belly band to see which hook it recommends. You will also need a pair of scissors and a darning needle for sewing in your ends. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button if you like my tutorials and click the bell button to get notifications of new videos. If you find this video helpful, then click the thumbs up button and leave me a comment. You will find the written instructions for this pattern in the description box below or head to www.bellacococrochet.com where you'll find this and even more stitch tutorials. Okay let's get started. So we're going to go ahead and start with a slip knot and you can make this in whichever method you prefer. Go ahead and insert your crochet hook. Now it's important to note that this pattern can only be worked in the round. So this would be good for hats, for bags, phone cases, glasses cases, baskets, cows, anything that you can work in the round. This will not work when you do rows. So what we're going to do is start off with any multiple of chains. So you can go ahead and yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over pull through. Go ahead and do your chain to whichever length you want and then meet me back in just a moment. Okay so once you have worked your chain you're going to go ahead and slip stitch into that very first chain that you created so that we can form our circle. So insert your hook and then pull through and through and there you have your slip stitch. We're going to begin each round by chaining one. This does not class as a stitch. And we're going to do a double crochet into each of the stitches all the way round. So that's a double crochet in UK terms. In the US, this is known as a single crochet. But to turn it into the cross stitch double crochet, we're going to do something slightly different. So I'm just going to demonstrate a normal double crochet for you. First of all, we would go into that stitch, we would yarn over, pull through with two loops on the hook, and then yarn over, pull through two. We're going to do something ever so slightly different, which makes a big difference to the overall effect of this stitch. We're going to insert our hook. Instead of yarning over, we're going to yarn under. So our, our yarn goes under our hook. We'll bring our yarn over the top and bring it downwards. So yarn under, pull through, you'll have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook. We'll go into that next stitch, into the next chain, yarn under, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Into the next chain, yarn under, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. We're just going to do this all the way around this chain, this foundation chain. Now the foundation chain is going to be the most tricky of them all. Um, so once that you have done this, it actually gets much easier. I'm going to go ahead and work my way all the way around to the beginning. So pause the video and then meet me back once you're ready to connect and move on to the next round. So I've now worked my way all the way round and I'm going to do a slip stitch into that very first stitch from this round. And then chain one to begin the next round. So we're going to do our very first stitch into that base of the chain one. So what we do is we insert our hook, yarn under, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn under, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. We're simply going to do this all the way round for each and every round. So it's a really simple stitch to do, but it is very, very effective. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build a few more rounds just so you, that you can start to see what it looks like. Okay, so now we have a few more rows built and you can see just how beautiful this stitch looks. It really looks good in this chunky yarn. I would definitely recommend that you use anything chunky 
um, or probably Aran weight and above um, to get this texture. But it's just absolutely beautiful and you can really see it building nicely once you have a few more rows. And it's really, really simple to do as well. So I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and click that bell button to get notifications of when my videos go live. Also, don't forget that the written instructions are at www.bellacococrochet.com I will leave a link in the description box for you thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time bye